Dear uh, customer, uh, we thank you for purchasing the lead fluid uh, peristaltic pump. Unigenetics Instruments uh, is representing lead fluid in India for the last four years. And as on date, that is uh, January 2021, we are having around uh, 60 installations in India. These pumps are uh, quite rugged and uh, the performance is excellent. Uh, that is what uh, the feedback we have received from our customers. Uh, this uh, particular model is uh, BT600F. Uh, this is uh, a top of the line uh, peristaltic pump and uh, this is version 3 pump. Version 3 means uh, the firmware is uh, updated uh, and this is the latest one. What uh, we can say is this pump is uh, at par with the uh, master flex that is represented by Cole Palmer and uh, price wise it is almost uh, half of the price or maybe even lower. Though this is a simple plug and play machine but still we are trying here to give a demo so that it becomes easier for the customers. To begin with uh, I would say that as you can see that uh, the complete uh, body is uh, SS so this is rust free and uh, you can easily clean it anytime. But still, we should always uh, try to avoid the spillage directly on the pump. That is always good for the health of the pump. So, once the pump comes, uh, this is your pump or controller and this is your head. This pump can take uh, different different heads. Uh, this particular head is YT25. And uh, we will see in the demo that this head... Uh, what tubings it can take and what flow it gives uh, on different uh, with different tubings. So the first thing that we have to do once the pump uh, comes uh, to your place, uh, we have to connect or install our tubing. This tubing is uh, number 15 tubing which is having a specific ID and OD. That you can find it from the table. So installation of the tubing is very very simple. You just have to take this lever up and here you can see the rollers. So this head has four rollers and these rollers are SS so there is no rusting at all. So you simply have to push the tubing at both the ends so that it comes in this V area and same thing on the left hand side. So the tubing is fixed and what you have to do then press the lever again, rotate it clockwise and lock it. So the tubing is fixed. If you want to change the heads you can change the heads also here. You simply have to take these two, open these two uh, screws and the head will come out and you can put your new head. Also you can put uh, four channel heads, even you can put the same head, two numbers so it becomes two channel. All these things we can do easily. So this is our source. At this moment we will be using water only. So our tubing is fixed and <clears throat> the next step is we are going to give the power. If you will look at the back of the machine, uh, this is our power cord connector. This is an on off switch and this particular port is a 15 pin port that we can use uh, for external controls for foot switch also. We will show how to use this port for foot switch in the demo later. So let me connect the power. <coughs> And this machine can take from 110 to 220 volts, so there is no confusion on the power. I have put the main power on and put it to position number 1. 
So once you give the power, the pump initializes and comes to the main screen. As you can see that the display is very vibrant, full of colors. And uh, these are really, uh, this is a very uh, smart uh, firmware uh, which gives a lot of information and we will see one by one gradually. <clears throat> As you can see here, uh, you can see that it is showing the temperature also that it is showing 28 degrees centigrade. Next to that is the timing. Uh, here uh, there are some more icons. Uh, this is clockwise. This is basically the, it shows the rotation of the head. So the rotation is clockwise. It means that from the left hand side, it will take the solvent and it will dispense it to the right hand side. If you want to change it, you can change it from this uh, button or keypad. So now it has become anti-clockwise. So again I am making it clockwise. Now the first one is a buzzer. Uh, it means that whenever you will press a key, it will make a sound like if you will make it off, it will not make any sound. Then the next one is lock keypad. This is basically if you will lock it, you cannot change the values of your programs. Then the third one is control, internal control and external control. We will see in the later once we will go to the parameters of the software. And the last one is <coughs> when you will, you will connect external control. So these will become connected. <coughs> in this machine, uh, once the machine comes to you, firstly what we can do is, uh, so the first thing that we will go, here you can see there are some more icons. Uh, this icon is a calibration icon and this is basically a shortcut, you will find it later also and we will discuss about this. So the first thing what we are doing is we are going to setting this blue icon. In the second, in the setting, uh, what we should look for, firstly let us see what is info. In the information, some uh, basic information is there like the software version is S3.01, hardware, speed. It means that there could be a variation of 0.2% in the set speed and actual speed. This is showing the temperature. This is showing the total power on time of the machine and like that. So basically it is giving some information. Then the next uh, thing we can check is uh, about is nothing. It is giving some information about the company that is lead fluid. If you will go to the next page, it is giving the details of leak fluid like that. Then we can set the password also as we said that we can lock the keypad, but we would suggest that not to lock it. Sometimes the passwords are missed and it becomes difficult to retrieve. So keep it blank we suggest, but of course if you want you can put the password. Then let us go to system. In the system we can set the date and time. We have already set it uh, for the customer. If we want to change it, from here we can change the month and year and from here we can change the date. Suppose I want uh, Feb, so we can go like this. Again I am coming to January. If we want to change the date, press it here. Again I am coming to 30, like that. And similarly from here we can change the time. So language is English, backlight setting is 50%. If we will make it, if we will increase it, the contrast and brightness of the screen will increase. Alarm we have said to no. 
we can set it to the factory reset also in case required but we are not doing it here so this is basically the system settings now we will come to <coughs> setup setup is very important so here we will select our head and tubing so at this moment our head is yt25 so we have selected yt25 if we want to change we can change it so total so many heads you can connect dg dg10 dt15 so many because we are using yt25 so i have selected yt25 and then we will select the tubing at this moment we are using 15 number tubing so we have selected 15 number as you can see that if you will select the 15 number the minimal flow is 166.7 microliter per minute and the maximum flow is 1000 ml per minute let us see what 24 says if you will select the tubing 24 number the minimal flow it gives is 283.2 microliter per minute and the maximum is 1699 and if we will select 36 the minimum flow is 500 microliter per minute and the maximum is 3000 ml per minute it means that that is 3 liters per minute so that is a huge huge flow so for now again i will select 15 now this is anti drip Entry drip is an important function. Sometimes what happens at the end of the run, if you want to make sure that no extra drop should come out, you can give some angle. Say it will, if you will give 360 degree angle, so what it will do after finishing the run, it will reverse so that extra solvent should not come. At this moment, I am keeping it zero. If customer wants, they can select it. And this is the anti speed. So, the anti drip at what speed it should do, that is what it is. Normally, it should be kept at maximum RPM, that is 600 RPM for this pump. So, setup is done. This is done. And now, one more point I want to discuss like in the beginning, calibrate came. Here also it comes. Suppose uh, you give some flow, say 100 ml per minute, and you give some volume, say 200 ml. But you, if you find that in place of 200 ml, the volume is coming less, say 190 ml, or it is coming more, say 210 ml or 220 ml. So what you can do, here you can put your volume and flow, and then go to and then you run your machine and calculate the val volume three times. Suppose at first instance is come 210 ml. So you enter 210. In the second run you get 205 ml. So you enter 205. And if say in the third run you get 190 ml. So you enter 190. And then again go to the next step and it will calibrate the machine automatically at this moment i am not doing that otherwise the flows will get disturbed so this is how the calibration is done now i will after the basic setup i will say return now uh, in this pump uh, <coughs> there are four modes that we can operate we will discuss all the four modes one by one so one mode is flow mode, second is time dispense, then volume dispense and then loop dispense. So flow mode is a very very simple mode uh, where you will give some flow and the pump will continuously run on that flow. Let's go there. So as you can see in the flow mode, flow is 10 ml per minute. At 10 ml per minute for this head, the speed of the pump will be 5.998 RPM. If I will go to this uh, mode setting, this is a mode setting for flow mode. It says that sound is nothing, this is just a keypad sound and lock is K 
keep at lock so we are not doing that now if we will go to the control mode it gives many options internal control is used when we are using the pump with the help of the keypads foot switch again in foot switch there are so many combinations you can use in internal mode also and external modes also if you want to control the current if you want to control the flow with the current then there is a current control mode if you want to control the speed or flow with the voltage then there is a voltage control modes in the voltage control mode there are two modes 0 to 5 volts and 0 to 10 volt so if some customers are having those applications they can always do that so at this moment I will select internal mode so I have set the flow at 10 ml if you want to change it you can change the unit also and value also suppose at this moment it is ml per minute so you can select microliter per minute, ml per minute and even if you can select liter per minute. So at this moment I am selecting microliter per minute. And from here you can change the values. Say my flow is 10 ml. If you want to change you can do that or again I am putting it 10 ml. So 10 ml per minute is my flow. So let's see. Uh, first thing is whenever you will run the machine first time we should always purge the tubing and because the, the peristaltic flow uh, peristaltic pumps are not very high pressure pumps so keep it in mind that your tubing should not be too high from the ground level it is always good to keep it at ground level because peristaltic pumps are not very high pressure pumps so firstly what I am doing I am just rinsing it or purging it so I will press this button and you can see that the pump is getting coiled. So purge is over, I am stopping it. Whenever you start the run, you should always purge your tube. Okay, so now I have given a flow of 10 ml per minute. Let's make a small run for the demo purpose. So I have started and you can see that a lot of information you can find it here. The flow is 10 ml per minute. Speed is 5.998 RPM. Elapsed is 2.2 ml and elapsed time. This is the total volume that pump has dispensed till date. Also one good feature is that you can increase or decrease the flow while running also and that decreases very gradually. So if you want to fine tune you can do that actually. I am making it 10 again. So this is a very simple uh, mode, uh, it should not be a problem at all. I am stopping it and I am going back. Now the second mode that is quite interesting. Let's select the volume dispense mode first. I will select volume dispense and it comes to the volume dispense mode. <coughs> In the volume dispense mode if you will go to the mode setting and it's says dispense number one or program number one so if you will click there it says maximum five minimum one so in the volume dispense you can make five programs actually so at this moment I have made a program number one if you want to make program number two save two and enter so this program number two has come at this moment we will try to run with program number one only so again I will select program number 1 or if you want if you are at program number 2 and whatever values you will change here that will get stored in program number 2. So let me select 1 only at this moment 1 okay. 
back. So in program number one, my volume is 5 ml, my flow is 10 ml per minute and pause time is 5 seconds and cycle is 2. It means that with a flow of 10 ml per minute, it will dispense 5 ml volume, then it will wait for 5 seconds and one cycle will complete. Like this, it will give 2 cycles. So let us try to run this uh, once so that we will have an idea that how it works. So I am starting it and the program has started. You can see that this is the volume dispense. This is cycle number 2 that is going on. So after dispensing 5 ml volume, it should pause for 5 seconds and then again dispense 5 ml volume and 2 cycles will get completed. So this uh, program is very good for fraction collection and in the pause time you can change the tubing to your next. So now it has stopped for 5 seconds and it has come to cycle number 1. 1 means this is the last cycle, flow is 10 ml per minute. So again it will dispense 5 ml volume and then it will stop and complete the two cycles. So cycles we can make hundreds also, not, not an issue also. For the demo we are keeping it only two. So the pump has stopped after two cycles. So here if you will see, you can see that it has dispensed 10 ml in two cycles that is 5 ml in each cycle. So we, the pump is calibrated in a good way, we can say that. Now there are two more modes, we will discuss those two more modes. Okay, <clears throat> let's go to the next mode. I am going back. Here we, I have not stopped anything, it has stopped on its own. Again I will press mode and let me select time dispense. There is not a very big difference in time dispense and uh, volume dispense. Either way you can choose. In this it says with a flow of 10 ml per minute it will dispense for 30 seconds. It means that again it is 5 ml volume it will dispense. And then it will pause for 5 seconds and like this we are again giving 2 cycles. In this time dispense mode also, we can give 5 programs, maximum is 5 and minimum is 1. At this moment we are using program number 1 only. So in program number time dispense, 0, 01 means time dispense mode and program number 1. So let us start this also once. So again you will see that uh, it is giving the seconds, so it will run for 30 seconds, then it will pause for 5 seconds and the flow is again 10 ml per minute. So 30 second after 30 second it is pausing, orange is pause. So again it is running for the second cycle. So again it will run for 30 seconds and it will complete two cycles and the machine pump will stop. So basically I feel that volume dispense and time dispense this is just a matter of convenience to which customer what is convenient ultimately it dispenses some volume with some flow. So 30 seconds over, so this is stopped. Okay. Now one more mode is there, that is called loop dispense. This is a very very interesting uh, feature and lead fluid has introduced very recently. And uh, this is an excellent feature actually where you can combine so many loops actually. <clears throat> so let me select loop dispense. So it has come to loop dispense. 
in the loop dispense we can give so many steps or so many uh, you can say mm, loops you can give and you can connect them with each other if you will go to the mode setting so it says that total steps 3 we can go up to total steps of 30 actually at this moment I am keeping it 3 only and total cycle maximum you can go up to 999 means whatever loop you will make of 3 1 to 30 steps you can repeat that 999 times so this is really an excellent feature which uh, lead fluid has introduced recently so for the demo purpose i am keeping three steps and to total cycle one otherwise i can go up to 30 steps and total cycles 999 so if you want to select your steps i, I will go to this icon and I will say number one. So in my number one step, the volume is 2 ml, flow is 10 ml per minute, pause time, let me make it uh, 2 seconds and cycles I will make it 2. So what it will do, it will do the same thing and but this is only a first step. Now. Let us see what is there in the second step. In the second step, my volume is 4 ml, my flow is 20 ml per minute, my pause time, I am changing it slightly, maybe I will make it 4 seconds and my cycles are 4 and the direction is clockwise. So I have made second step, now I will check my third step. In the third step, I am making volume of 6 ml, flow of 30 ml per minute, cycles are 3 and pause time, let me make 5 seconds again. So I have made 3 steps. So one by one it will do the first step, second step and third step and after that if we want to give many many cycles we can increase the number here when we can go up to 999 so let's try this so it is doing the first step where we have given that it should dispense 2 ml volume with a flow of 10 ml per minute so you can see that it has dispensed waited for 5 seconds and again it should dispense 2 ml volume so the first step and 2 cycles were there so first step will get completed now it has come to four, second step where 4 ml volume was there now waited wait for then again it will dispense 4 ml volume and like this it will do 4 cycles so you can see that 2 of 3 so step number 2 of 3 is going on and in the of the second step cycle number 2 is running so once it will com come to cycle number 1 then it will move to step number three so now last cycle of step number two again it will dispense 4 ml now cycle num step number three of three here we have given the volume of 6 ml and we have given three cycles <clears throat> so one cycle is completed two more cycles will complete and the complete loop will complete so if you want we can give many many cycles of this uh, three step loop so this is the last cycle of step number three
now again it will dispense 6 ml and the complete loop loop will be completed so this is really a very very uh, interesting feature <coughs> and uh, very useful uh, for some uh, complex uh, pumping now one more thing is there that is uh, we can control the pump with the help of the foot switch also uh, for foot switch uh, let me select the flow mode so i will go to the flow mode where the flow is 10 ml per minute so this is uh, my foot switch and what we have to do for the foot switch we have this is a d type of connector and the up top part is a little bit bigger 8 pins and the bottom part 7 pins and this is a 15 pin connector so top part 8 pin part we will keep on the top and we will just connect it so whenever you will press the foot switch and release it the pump will start so the pump has started and it will keep on running in the flow mode until and unless you will press it and release it once again so the pump has stopped and whenever you will start the pump you see that here it is giving the flow it is giving the dispense volume so if you want to control the dispense volume manually where your volumes are not fixed all the time you can use the say after 4 ml you can press it and it will stop then again in the next while if you want 5 ml you can collect 5 ml with the foot switch and you can keep it on the floor and